So you might be thinking, yo, Nick, didn't you 3D print a drone frame like two months ago? And to that, I say, yes, I did. But this one's different because it's not actually meant to be flown. Wait. How is that better? Well, the drone I'm printing right now is, is actually a prototype and it's the first physical form of EtherFPV's first drone frame. Now, it didn't actually start here. It started a few months back. I wanted to create a library of in-depth support videos for one particular frame. So I started searching for the frame that was going to be the base for everything. I landed on this pretty simple but clean four inch FPV frame. I tested it with the electronics that I wanted to put into this frame and it went well. So I bought a hundred of them. And this was supposed to be Ether FPV's first frame that we're releasing. But it wasn't until the first crash that I realized that there was a big issue with these frames. It broke after what I would say was a fairly soft crash. And, you know, thinking it was a fluke, I repaired it and I went out to fly it again. And the next crash, it broke again. By the time I got to the fourth one, I knew that there was no saving it. Turns out these frames were way too delicate and, um, yeah, basically useless. In fact, if you come with me over here, we can see that I still have these frames. We've got a hundred of them. I think we're going to leave them there for now, but I think we're going to break them down, you know, part them out for other things. So instead, I looked at a brand name frame, Flyfish. I bought five of these and these were instantly so much better. Better able to handle crashes, the components fit better, but at the same time the DJI 04 system got released and it was months until the company released a way to fit this new tech into this frame. So I made the decision to take full control of the design and that's what we're going to build Ether FPV and all the library of tutorials on. So I got to work. I threw everything I knew about drone builds, mounting methods, weak points, support structures, and tried to bring it all together into one design. Now, here's the thing. I know how to use CAD, but I don't really come from an engineering background. So a lot of my choices in the design were based on logic and experience and let's be honest, some educated guesses. You may have seen this design floating around on my channel and this was my crude attempt at putting this all together into one design. There's some um, some obvious issues with this design. Logically, I knew that if I was going to do this myself and try to design and build this myself, it was going to be expensive and take a lot of time. And just as I started to be doubtful of whether this was the right avenue to take, I got an email from just the right people at just the right time. This is Wintech, yeah, a group of local engineers. And if you saw the previous video, we went over the design goals for the drone. And at the time, this was all just setting the stage of what this drone was going to become. Shortly after the call, I met up with the guys to talk about it further and it was off. Two weeks later, we really started to see where it was going. We have something very reminiscent of that. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> that looks sick. <laughs> it, it was far from done, but we started going over some of the details of it. But we're going to put in the XT60 ports here. Yep. Um, we use a keystone as well, so... Nice. nice. I like the look of it because it looks more alien, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, I agree. It looks mad. That looks so cool. And by the end of this meeting, I knew we made the right call. <laughs> Yo. Looks so sick. Oof. It's just a matter of waiting patiently for it all to be done. But oh my God, it looks so cool. Taking the notes from this meeting, they reworked the design and we're pretty keen to go through it. All right, so we're just about to jump onto a call just to get like a few changes done. So. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey Howdy, what's up? Uh, <laughs> Who's the milkman? Uh, oh uh, yeah, sorry <laughs> about that, that's me. Uh, I was there when we met in person. Oh, okay. Now, right off the bat, I had a lot of changes that I wanted to fit the aesthetic that I was after. First of all, uh, it would actually be nice to get your opinion on what arm, like the arms, because you said you had a few things that you wanted to change. No, I'm not a fan of like the peanut shape. I was set on having a pretty aggressive looking frame. I guess to a degree, there's a bit of a psychology to how shapes work in people's brains. So it just means uh, I'd be looking into having a lot less like curved or neatly contoured areas and there'd be more kind of contrast and angular appearance to it. Like so the cutouts are sick, uh, but like the top plate. I don't know. Like it, 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 inwards slightly? Yeah, I think I think that'd look better. But that I agree. Like, yeah, yeah. That would probably look a bit nicer. Do you want it to be wider towards the front? No. 
I mean, how, how you've put it there is, is pretty good. So once implementing these changes, we'll just send you like a, a few of these within like the different like variant, like the new like angular shape. Mm -hmm. And then we can get to seeing, seeing this thing and getting a prototype in our hands. Yes. All right, Mad. Yeah, see you later. Bye. See you later. See ya. See ya. Have a good one, man. Over the next few weeks, we iterated on the design, and honestly, we were probably 95% there. So for our next call, they 3D printed the frame out. We've changed the design so much since last time. All right, here we go. So here it is, um, the, orig the original design. We weren't really happy with it. Mm -hmm. We took a day reinventing it, and this is what we're presenting. And I think we like it a lot better. It looks it's so good idea. now. Yeah, it looks so good. Oh, it looks so sick. We even embossed the uh, logo. I know. Oh, man. It looks oh. so cool. All right. Would I be able to get the STL files to print my own? So then I might chuck all like the Speedy B components onto it, air unit on it, and just see how it's fitting. For sure. We'll give you the step files or, um, yeah, the step files. We have just gotten hold of the STL files. Uh, so we are good now to 3D print this frame out and see how it physically looks, how the components fit on it and uh, make sure it's it, it's exactly how we want it. And honestly, I, I'm so hyped for it. I'm, I'm so excited to get this made in, in carbon and bring it out as an actual frame. This is it. This is the first time that this frame has become a physical frame. Like, you know, up until this point, it's been CAD designs, it's been sketches, but now, the frame is taking shape. It's actually one of the craziest things I've ever seen. <laughs> We have SpeedyB stack in the center. I've put an analog camera at the front. It can fit 04 and 03 and analog cameras. We specifically designed the landing gear of this so you can print them without the need of supports or anything when printing as well. No VTX in the back because I want to put an 04 uh, air unit into it. And we're still working on the TPU designs at the back. But for the most part, this is what we're looking at. This is what we're going to bring to life in carbon. I'm so excited.